this is Chris Hero, and you're watching WGS TV. You've warped your way into another episode of WGS TV right here on YouTube.com slash Russell Gamer. I'm the Russell Gamer, double B Billy Boudreaux, and guys and gals, I got a little bit of a breaking news and reactions we're going to talk about. First off, uh, joining me on this video, first off, he is the hardcore host of Hardcore Wrestling Radio, who's about to go hardcore on his computer for some reason. He is the hardcore one himself, Rick Head. Rick, how you doing? Well, after I'm done beating the shit out of my machine and I realized it was just uh, Google Hangout, fuck you, Google Hangout, I'm uh, doing all right. I'm, uh, but that's it. And ladies and gentlemen, he's, he's our resident music mogul over on YouTube.com slash Lance Moss TV. is the incomparable Lance Moss. Lance, how you doing? I'm doing pretty good. I ain't ready to kill Google like Rick is, but I'm doing pretty good. Well, WWE. I, I'm sorry, I missed this case. I'm, I'm sorry, I missed this week's of anger management class. <laughs> oh, Somebody call Doctor Shelby. Oh man. Anyway, hug it out. <laughs> yeah, how can you hug it out with Google Hangouts? That's really something that really bothers the the mind. But anyway, guys and gals, back to what the topic at hand. WWE broke the news on the WWE app about their latest inductee into the Hall of Fame. And before we announce who that is, I just want to say I kind of miss the old days when we actually had to wait until the actual show to find out who gets inducted into the Hall of Fame. I, I, I don't understand WWE's usage of the app to kind of break the news beforehand. In, in some instances, it's good. Some instances, some people just want to wait until the actual show. Uh, there are a lot of mixed opinions about why WWE is doing it the way they're doing it. But um, anyway, the person that's being named is a legend himself. In fact, he is the living legend. Larry Zabisco has been announced that he will be inducted into the Hall of Fame this year. And if you, you guys really want to wrap your mind about who Larry Zabisco is, because I know a lot of fans out there, Rick, you know, a lot of today's wrestling fans don't know who these legends are because there, there was reports about fans being angry that the Bushwhackers were being inducted into the Hall of Fame. And do you feel that Larry Zabisco would fall into the same vein for today's wrestling fans that, that they wouldn't know who Larry Zabisco is? Well, when you speak about Larry Zabisco, um, I I don't know. I mean, I myself were a big, big WCW fan. So if you're not a WCW fan or if you're not even a fan of the past five or ten years, how you, you, you should know who Larry Zabisco is because he was one of the great commentators. You know, he was one of the past of the four horsemen or the last of the four horsemen. Um, so you, you should know who he is. Was he a living legend for me? No, not really. I wouldn't know of his wrestle, more of his wrestling career, but his commentary career. So for the fans to be pissed off about it, eh, you know, I think they're just being uh, bitter because it's none of the bigger legends or the more nostalgic legends. That's just my thought. Larry Zbysko, one of the greatest AWA champions of all time, had some fantastic matches with Nick Bockwinkle and probably one of the greatest feuds I've seen with him and Kurt Hennig over the AWA World Heavyweight Championship. And those were some phenomenal matches. If you guys want to know more about his wrestling career, just look, go, go to a, the AWA stuff on the, either on YouTube or on WWE Network and, and look up some of uh, his greatest matches from AWA. And, and I promise you, you will not be disappointed as to what you, you will see. And you will understand why Larry Zabisco is classified as a living legend. Uh, Lance, what's, what are your reactions to the announcement of Larry Zabisco being named? And so this year's Hall of Fame. Well, what I completely agree with you on it's bullshit that uh, they keep announcing the the inductees before they announce them on Raw. I mean, I understand. Yeah, you can leak one or two. Uh, yeah, but I really not even like that because it takes a lot of the fun out of the uh, road to WrestleMania. It's almost like announcing the winners of the match before the match even damn ends. Even though you can kind of do that, like by going on spoiler sheets or sometimes, but 
that's neither here nor there. But yeah, I've seen a few of his matches, but I know him more as one of the uh, bet greater great guys that worked on WCW's uh, uh, announce team. So yeah, Mama Powerton, he should go in. Yeah, Larry Zbysko is, is iconic in, in several aspects, not only for what he did in AWA, but from what you've heard from uh, Rick and Lance already, his uh, his role as a commentator in WCW and his reputation preceded him on every Nitro event, whether it be a oh, I'm sorry, every WCW event, whether it be a Nitro or a Thunder, there was always a chant for Larry, for Larry, Larry, every Every time, every every Nitro, every Thunder that Larry Zabisco worked, there was always a chant for the legend, Larry Zabisco, because everyone knew about his reputation. They knew about the, uh, the kind of wrestling he used to be, and they also respected him for the work he's done as a commentator, as we all do. We, we tremendously respect Larry Zabisco because he was – Really, an iconic voice on that commentary team. He brought a unique perspective into it. You know, he, he kind of coined the phrase that wrestling being the human game of chess. And he, he coined so many good phrases over the years when it pertains to the wrestling industry that it, 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 it kind of transcends it. And I, and I think the number one, one uh, the number one thing that he, that he mentioned was something I just said right there, Rick, that wrestling is like a human game of chess. Yeah, um, as you said, he did have a lot of great, great catchphrases. Um, and uh, to be honest with you, um, to get back a little bit to what Lance said as about the WWE doing the spoilers. Um, spoiling the announcers, I think the reason why they might be doing this, excuse me, I think they might be doing this is to up the viewerships because I think the viewerships have been down a little bit. Would you agree or disagree with this? I would agree with you. It, 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 it kind of seems like a feasible tactic. I mean, you know, it's, first off, it's getting a lot of people talking about it like we are right now about Larry Spisco going into the Hall of Fame. And then we kind of, you know, we kind of uh, want to see what kind of video package that WWE has put together on the living legend himself going into the Hall of Fame. So we kind of halfway expected, you know, you know good viewership on Monday Night Raw for the, those of, those fans who know about wrestling's past like we do. You're expecting good viewership on that because we're all anxious to see what kind of uh, video package that WWE will put together to honor the living legend Larry Zbysko and his and, and he being inducted into the Hall of Fame. And it's also kind of interesting as to who might induct Larry Zbysko into the Hall of Fame. Uh, I know they probably wouldn't get Tony Schiavone to do it because Tony Shivani, uh, uh, I've seen on several videos here on YouTube already that he, he's kind of, quote, done with the wrestling industry. Uh, he rarely makes an appearance for any kind of wrestling convention. And uh, the one person that uh, Larry Zbysko has worked with more in WCW, WCW rather, would be Tony Shivani. But I don't know. Lance, who would you think would be the perfect guy to induct the living legend Larry Zbysko into the Hall of Fame? Because I do remember one good feud. I don't know if a lot of fans remember this, but in the AWA, back when he had a beard, uh, mustache and, a, and curly hair, he actually had a feud with Scott Hall. Possibly, yes, Scott Hall. And uh uh, back when he was, if I'm remembering this right, was this before or after uh, the Diamond Stud gimmick? I think it was before the Diamond Stud gimmick. Cause it, 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 okay. Because I think Scott Hall was in AWA before he went to WCW as the Diamond Stud. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah that, it's either probably going to be, I can remember a bunch of like cage matches he had with somebody in AWA. Huh. Like, there's a living legend before Zabisco. The only one that I could possibly think of would be Nick Bockwinkle. That would be Is he only... still around? Yes. There you go. Quite possible. Um, and well, anyway, gentlemen, I want to get your final thoughts on Larry Zabisco going into the Hall of Fame this year. Rick, I want to start with you. Your final thoughts on Larry Zabisco being inducted into the Hall of Fame. 
Well, like I said, he was a great commentator. I really don't know a lot about his wrestling career. Um, he was a four horseman, so I could possibly see one of the four horsemen inducting him. Ric Flair, if he can stay sober. Arn <laughs> Anderson, most definitely. Um, as far as the Tony Joe Schiavone, he has been kind of popping his nose out a little bit. He says he's done, but, I mean, we've also seen him on the WWE Network on some um, some documentaries. So it's not beyond the scope of reality to see him induct him, but um, I, I do have to agree with you. I don't see that really happening, so I would have to see um, one of the horsemen inducting him because that was the most uh, notice, notice, more noticeable. Um, as far as maybe one of his past wrestlers, I honestly don't know because I don't know his wrestling past. Larry Biscuit was also once part of the Dangerous Alliance. And if you guys remember who was the head of that Dangerous Alliance, it was actually Paul Heyman when he was Paul E. Dangerously in WCW. And I do remember a couple of guys that were in that group was stunning Steve Austin and Arn Anderson in the Dangerous Alliance. Guys, just look it up because we definitely know what we're talking about right here on WGS TV. Lance, your final thoughts on Larry Zabisco being named into the Hall of Fame this year? One, you just gave me a flashback of one of the first war games. But uh, then again, I could see, yeah, he definitely deserves it. Somebody else I thought maybe because, well, they were both on the WCW announce team and they were both pretty damn big in WCW. Now, I don't know if they have if they're good with each other or not, but perhaps Dusty. Quite possibly. Quite possibly we could see the, the American Dream Dusty Rhodes inducted in, into the Hall of Fame. Um, as far as uh, your surely goes, you kind of get uh, the gist of uh, my, my feelings, my reactions to Larry Zbysko being named to the Hall of Fame. Uh, if, if anyone has deserved it, Larry Zbysko has done it. I mean, he's had a, a phenomenal wrestling career, not only in AWA, but in WCW as well. And not only that, he also transcended into the commentary world and became an iconic figure on the announce team for WCW's Nitro and Thunder. And you guys and gals, remember, I've already said it, you know, when wherever Larence Bisco went, there was always a huge amount of respect shown from the fans there in attendance for Larry Zbysko, whether it be on a Nitro or a Thunder, there was always a huge chant for Larry Zbysko. And one of the things I always loved about it, that he always acknowledged the fans when they did the chants. And I loved that about him. You know, he kind of shows that not only did the fans respect him, but he respected the fans just as much. So, again, I, I really feel that Larry Zbysko has really – earned his his spot into the WWE Hall of Fame, along with every member in the class of Hall of Fame. So if you can, so anyone out there that wants to make a comment, oh, why didn't you say Rikishi? Well, yeah, every one of them, do, do they deserve their own spot in the Hall of Fame, and they've all earned it. But anyway, guys and gals, what we want to know now from you guys out there, the viewers and subscribers, your thoughts on Larry Zbysko being named into this year's Hall of Fame. We definitely want to know what you think. Be sure you put your comments in the comment section below. Don't forget to like and favorite this video. Rick, where can fans check you out on HWR? Of course, you can always check me out on my Facebook page. That's facebook.com slash hardcore wrestling radio. And if you want to check me out on any other social media outlets, just look us up on HWR Show. Lance, what can fans expect to see when they come visit your channel over on youtube.com slash Lance Moss TV? Album reviews, NASCAR discussion videos, redneck woman looking videos, musical equipment reviews, some rants, uh, all the archives of controversies and scandals, and uh, also follow me on uh, Twitter. It's at National TV. WGS TV is on social media, Facebook, Facebook.com slash WGS TV on Twitter at the Russell Gamer and Instagram at the Russell Gamer as well. Be sure you find it, find me on social media. And also guys, if you haven't yet, please subscribe to YouTube.com slash Russell Gamer for more content like this and all of my let's plays right here on WGS TV. So with that being said, for the hardcore host of Hardcore Wrestling Radio, Rick Kidd and the incomparable Lance Moss, Lance Moss TV, I'm the Russell Gamer. Don't be Billy Good Girl saying I bought you guys two tickets to Larry Land. Let's talk this fight in Ukraine. Just what I need. More unskilled labor. All right, shut up and... Okay, why is a luch... I'm, I'm not even going to ask. I don't even want to know.